Hey y'all, thank you for coming back to the channel. And we had to go get back in the plane in the cockpit and talk to the pilot and told him to take us up to at least 50, we call it, 50,000 feet because we're going to be messy. Yes, we're going to be messy today. We're really not messy, messy because we're with our friend, Mr. Ray Whitfield. The icon lady who thought up the phrase, who gonna check me, boo? Yes, she is back in the house with us today. All right, and I am so proud of her. She finally brought to fruition her spring, summer, fall uh, joggers. Uh, what else she said? Whatever. Her athletic um, production of her wares, her apparel wares. Evidently, she couldn't show up and show out with her convicted felon boyfriend because he wanted nothing to do with her because it was going to basically uh, do detriment to him getting out to the free world. So he had to cut ties with her temporarily, allegedly, and get himself together so he can fully get out and be another productive person in society. Okay, so uh, Sheree finally got her apparel line out, the joggers. Okay, the athletic wear. And uh, I don't know, maybe she'll come out with some uh, after five wear or church going type wear or business office casual wear. But right now, she got that spring, summer, fall, winter collection out that we were waiting on about, what, seven years now? But since we got her back on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, she had to have a storyline. And of course, her girls were right there with her. Candy, very much so in attendance. Uh, Marlo, I, can't, I think it was Sanya, and I maybe that was Drusadora. Uh, and maybe some other housewives were there currently uh, that's not being featured, but these are the only ones that um, were featured that I caught on camera that I could show y'all a visual of. So she brought out her joggers, her line, and if you go to Kenya Moore stand, okay. Kenya Moore stand at Gossip Informer again uh, on Twitter is where I found it. Kenya Moore stand S T A N at Gossip Informer G O S S I P I N F O R M E R. You will see her fashion show on uh, that link that I just gave you. And you will see somebody very much so you were hoping to see, uh, hoping to have given a show by this time by Bravo. But, you know, it may still be in, in the works and that not have come out to fruition. Because, hell, we had to wait a long time for She by Sheree to show up and show out with some actual models, with some actual clothes on their body trying to model. Okay? Now, I couldn't really see from the video whether it was good quality clothes we're talking about or we're trying to say uh, the bottom of the barrel of apparel she's trying to do um, but we don't know she's happy we're happy for her she looked it very happy looking fresh in the video uh, like she was doing her thing but like I say it's up to you to judge the quality of the clothing that were being sponsored on the runway on these models but Apollo Nida was one of her models now I don't know if she got the permission from his current fiance, which I don't know why they still fiance. They should be married by now. Been out of jail for a while, so I don't know what's the hold up on that situation. Or maybe they got married and just flew over me. Let me know in the comments, fam. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, so she couldn't have a storyline with her boyfriend right now. Because uh, he had put a cease and desist on Bravo and told them no likeness, no talk, no nothing about him unless they're going to pay him, pretty much. But he ain't showing up for no taping because he can't do that. He's still in lockup mode. So Sheree had to find uh, another storyline real quick, fast in a hurry. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. It was kind of messy. Uh, but we're here for the mess and the drama. And she's definitely serving it up to us, okay? Lukewarm, but she's still serving it up to us. All right. 
um so yes uh don't know if she got permission for phaedra you know because sometimes you know the girl code is kind of shaky and kind of murky sometimes and you know dealing with somebody she's still dealing with i don't know if her and phaedra are you know still having words or, or interactions with one another uh but if they are you know it's just been a good thing to say you know hit her up or text her and say you know I'm finally getting my show together. I'm finally getting my fashions out there because I'm tired of people, you know, dissing me, talking about, you know, like um, the white head said, oh, you're going to have a fashion show with no fashions. Oh, how dreadful. <laughs> And you know that's gonna be a that's gonna be some kept in the works in the books. Okay, it's going down in history. We had to pull it out, you know, just for confirmation sometimes here and there when we have our person that we're talking about they fail for uh, fail from our expectations, and we have to remind them of certain things that was catchphrases back in the day, just like um, Sheree and her who gonna check my boo situation. Um, she gave us a, a little word phrase there to keep in our archives if we wanted to play it back and back and back. I mean, she, yeah, she she wrote uh, made up t-shirts for that. And Nene was good at making up t-shirts for her little one uh, stand saying as well. Her slogan she was giving out to us by the masses. But uh, yeah, she finally got a little uh, fashion show going. And it's athletic wear of course. And um, I think there's some swimwear in there too. But uh to me it was like a stage scene a little proper that Bravo helped her put together because they had to save her storyline she had to give something uh, of a storyline for them to be paying her uh, the amount of money that they were paying her this season to appear on season 14 of the Real Housewives of Atlanta so um, I was like okay okay you bring a blast from the past back I can get with it we can see what it's giving us here and there um, it's just here what it is. I don't know if it's going to be at Macy's or Nordstrom's or where in my hell it might end up in Walmart. But Walmart ain't no uh, uh, a little shopping thing to be sleeping on because they be having some nice stuff in there sometimes. You know, especially when you ain't doing nothing but working out. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I wouldn't be surprised. You know, Walmart is a brand name store for the uh, smart shopper, uh, the frugal shopper, or whatnot. But they still be putting out masses of inventory, okay? Because even Jermaine Dupri got an ice cream out here now. It's supposed to be vegan free that Walmart is uh, helping him distribute to the masses. So, don't be sleeping on Walmart. Don't be trying to say Walmart's at the bottom of the barrel. No, it's not. Mm -mm, no, it's not. Now, Rainbow Wheels now. Because they have some cute clothes in there for smaller folks. And, you know, whatever. But my whole thing with them, I tried them in the past. Uh, just like a cute t-shirt I had saw in there one day because I was with somebody shopping before COVID even came in and I girl I bought that uh, shirt t-shirt and I like that t-shirt too call myself washing it you know uh, putting it in a dryer girl that thing came out two sizes too small I was like uh uh no I had to put it on a mannequin oh child it was just a hot mess but I'm saying maybe her clothes are not that cheap in quality maybe she got like medium style quality uh but i'm pretty sure she's gonna be charging outrageous prices now you know you can't be like nene that's why swag ain't around no more so you can't be going up and getting your clothes that you get across the country and try to sell them in bulk and stuff we'll get them in bulk and try to sell them for you know astronomical prices or even rashida shops she got down now uh t not what tag uh hell it might be like something like candy store too i uh, heard her clothes are not that you know uh wearable where it, it goes for longevity is what I'm saying. So they got a nice price tag. Even though they know they ain't paper like, you know, a penny's on a dollar. But they want to, you know, upsell it for, you know, a, a, what do you call it, obscene amount of money when they know the quality is not there. So, um, yeah. I decided, I thought it was Shaw Sheree out here. So like, little, oh, excuse me. Shout out video for Miss Sheree coming back to the scene and that's what that little outfit it actually was being shown but it was in a more uh bluer color and it was like blue and white instead of blue and black and you know he, he uh, uh apollo was in some orange uh type of muscle shirt with the um the twist to go with it he was looking fine as hell but you know 
Can't take that away from Paolo. He's a looker. He's a looker. He's on the eyes. Um, you say everything else about him, but he's a looker. Um, he's a keeper. He's a keeper now. I wish Baba would have gave him and Peter and Greg when he was alive and tall at their own little show. That would have been a kiki every day. You know, every week I would have been tuning in to see what in the world are they doing. Are they running from their wives, trying to do other things? You know, sure, what's going on? But they never knew what happened to that. Maybe they were asking for too much money. Maybe it's still in the works. Who knows? Okay. But that would have been a keeper of a show. And it probably would have made them millions. But of course, you know, it is what it is. So, uh, you know, maybe Peter got up there trying to express too much money concerns. And then Poe Greg is not here anymore to be a part of that legacy. But, you know, we can always start fresh, new. And we could get something going on. Uh, I don't know what the legalities would have been uh, putting them together on a show. But. I think we still should talk it up here and there when we have an opportunity. But yeah, giving Shore her roses, her flowers while she's still on this herb. And she came through. She pushed through, okay, with that she by Sheree Fashions, okay. And she had a little runway with a little name on her, a little logo. And they were just looking funky fresh, you know, strolling down with heels on, child, with heels on. Uh, that one lady in the blue that I'm looking at now, you know, she was doing her thing. Like I said, it's from the go at Gossip Informer. Y'all go on over there. And it's on um, Twitter. And uh, she, like I said, she had a, a bodysuit with the woman in brown or something. Uh, I think it was a swimsuit, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. But she had some long-legged boots going with it. Could have been a bodysuit, like I said. I'm not really sure. But, honey, Apollo was coming down. I, my daughter thought they were being funny <laughs> by putting him in orange, like an orange uh, jumpsuit from uh, prison. <laughs> I said, no, nah, girl. Orange just look good on light-skinned folks as well as dark-skinned folks. And um, it just is what it is, child. <laughs> I don't think she was trying to throw salt on Apollo, but it just came out to be that way. But yes, she was feeling herself, meaning Sheree, and everybody was uh, in attendance. Like I said, I told you the women from the Real Housewives of Atlanta that attended that I could see from this video. And hopefully we'll see it in her storyline. Uh, when the show comes back in March, I think it's supposed to be uh, cited to come back in. But that's all I have for this video, guys. Uh, just wanted to update you all on what Miss Ray is doing out there. How she's coming along. And how she's faring. And, you know, giving her her roses now. Her uh, comeback to um, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Hopefully she can be a part of the cast uh, for at least four more seasons, if not. Uh, but she gotta bring it. She gotta bring. We can't be you know, her being no bone collector out there now. We don't. We got too many of those. We still got candy on payroll. And um, I did see somewhere that actually they were trying to bring Fraser Pauls back. So I don't know. Candy may be exiting sooner rather than later if that happens. But we don't know. We'll see, child. We'll see what's going on. We'll keep you informed as we always do. All right. But that's all I have for this video. Can't do no more with it. And I will see y'all next time. Bye-bye.